Hola, buenas tardes. Good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard, the planning diva. And I am so excited because it is Friday afternoon and I'm finally getting on to the Happy Planner website to check out the fall release. Let me know if you picked up anything so far and what you picked up. I thought it would be fun to come on here and do a quick little window shopping with you all as well as some actual shopping and just give you all my thoughts on the latest collections from the Happy Planner. So I have the website pulled up in front of me and let's get into it. Let's talk about it. Let's have a planner chat. Okay, I'm gonna go through each collection and talk a little bit about what each collection has and my thoughts on it and whether I'm gonna get it or not. So let's get into this. The first collection that I see here is the La Fleur collection and it looks gorgeous. It's like a vintage botanical. We have um, the classic vertical planner, a sticker book, a notebook, a snap and planner cover. They have the big planner and a vertical layout, some bookmarks, washi tape, a twin loop planner. So they're sticking with the twin loop, huh? I'm surprised. I feel like I've seen a lot of twin loops at Michael's. I mean, this late in the year, there's still quite a bit of them around and it looks like they just didn't sell very well. So I'm shocked that they're going to continue with the twin loop. Okay, I'm not getting anything from this collection. I'm sorry, it's gorgeous, it's stunning, it's beautiful, but I am all flowered out. I have so many flower, floral planners, sticker books, and this one's gorgeous. And I could see myself maybe picking up one or two items, the bookmarks, the sticker book, later when they're like 50 or 60% off at Joann's. I don't think I would pick them up here at this release. And yeah, I'm just too flowered out and I'm not such a huge floral person that I need to have it. Next. Okay, this is cute. The medium metal discs in jade pearl. I'm gonna pass on these. I actually have plastic discs in this exact same color. Maybe a little bit different, maybe a little bit more brighter, but um, I don't think I need jade pearl discs. Pass. Okay, and then we have, let's see, five items in the seasonal collection. They came out with the Life's a Party seasonal collection. There's a happy planner in a vertical style, classic size, the Essential Holidays sticker book, a dashboard extension pack for a classic size. They also have a mini that's in the vertical and um, a twin loop which is in a big size and actually I'm not gonna get any of these either because I don't really like the design very much. I don't like that they have like the 2023 in huge numbers on the classic and I think there's a lot of text on the dividers um, and I just am not a huge text person on dividers. And I also have a lot of seasonal books so I think I'm gonna pass on this. And then they released three more seasonal sticker books, the Fall Harvest sticker book in the regular size and then one that's just five sheets and then a sticker book, the Essential Seasons sticker book. And I'm gonna pass on all of these as well. Although I was tempted by the Fall Harvest and a little bit less tempted by the Essential Seasons. But again, I feel like I do have quite a bit of seasonal stuff in my Happy Planner collection right now. And I like what they've come out with for fall and other books that I currently have um, more so than what they've come out with here. The Essential Season sticker book as well, like I have other seasonal sticker books that I like better and I just got one, um, I think it's called like Happy Seasons. I just got that one on clearance for like $7 during the Labor Day sale and that one's super cute and I like it much better than the Essential Seasons that they released. So passing on all of that, we're doing good so far. Okay, Nightmare Before Christmas, I do really like it. I am not a huge fan of Nightmare Before Christmas, but I really appreciate the art in that movie. I do really like the movie, but I'm not like one of those people that has like everything Nightmare Before Christmas, but I do really like the movie. I really want the sticker book, but I don't 
like that it's in the storage bundle. I wish they just sold the sticker book like that and I think I'm gonna have to pass on it. And because it's in a bundle, it's $35 and I think I'm gonna have to pass on that. Ugh, I wish I, I wish I could get it but I guess it's only like a little bit more pricier than what it would be just alone but I don't know if I need the whole bundle. That one I'm still kind of on the fence about. Okay, I really want the Nightmare Before Christmas um, Classic Guided Journal Box Kit. I really like the cover on this one. I like the discs. I like how it has stickers and envelopes and a bookmark. I love how it has all these accessories. And I really like the guided journal pages. These seem really well structured, different from any other guided journal that we've seen from the Happy Planner. They look like they have really cool prompts and I'm really interested in that so I think I'm gonna pick that one up. I'm also really tempted by the classic dashboard. I like the cover but I'm not a huge fan of the dividers so I could see myself picking this up if it was like 40% off at Joann's. So that one I'm going to put like a bookmark on and maybe pick it up later. Same with the Classic Planner Companion. It has a lot of cool stuff in it. Filler paper, stickers, envelopes, sticky notes. But I think I'm going to hold off on that one. And I actually am not a huge fan of the Classic Planner in a horizontal it looks like. The one that says, um, I tried to behave but I got bored on the cover. I just, I'm not a huge fan of the cover. And again, I'm not such a huge Christmas, Nightmare Before Christmas fan that I need to have everything in this collection. So I think I'll be okay with the box bundle and maybe a sticker book or two if they come out separately. So yeah, there's a couple of things I want from that collection. But I think in this order, I'm only going to get the box kit. The guided journal box kit. Okay, the next collection that we have is one that a lot of people are excited about, I'm sure. This is the Disney and Pixar Bright Year collection, and they have classic planners, sticker books, filler paper, extension packs. Um, they have a big dashboard planner and a notebook and an accessory pack, and ooh, they have a lot. They were anticipating that this was gonna be popular. And I'm gonna have to pass on everything on this because I'm not a huge um, Pixar fan. I do really like their movies, I appreciate them a lot, and I will watch them, you know, if they come out in the movies. I really like some Pixar movies, like Monsters, Inc. was a lot of fun. But I'm, again, I'm not such a huge fan that I would want anything from this collection. I could see myself picking up a sticker book um, in Joann's when it's like 40% off. But yeah, I think I'm going to pass on everything Pixar for this release. We also have a stencil bookmark. I'm not a huge stenciler. Um, I'd rather just freehand or use a stamp or stickers. So passing on the stencil. Okay, and then this is the collection that I want every single item of. Can you guess which collection it is? It's the Cozy Pet Critters. Oh my god, I love the classic vertical planner. It's gorgeous. I love the cover. Yes, I'm getting it. Love the big planner companion. Ugh, with, I just love the designs on this. And I'm really into the big size planner. So I just am picking up a lot of like big planner accessories. The sticker book is super cute and I also want um, the big planner which is in a color block layout. The only thing that I don't think I will get from this collection is the notebook because I don't need, I don't need, I don't need it. I have enough filler paper, um, the cover is cute but it's not my favorite. I like the other planner covers a lot better than the, the cover on the notebook. Okay, so I really like this collection because I am a huge pet person and actually I just adopted my second dog. I had my pug bugs for eight years and I was kind of in the mood for the last year or so to get another pug and I found another pug on Craigslist. Um, someone was trying to rehome their one-year-old pug that they just couldn't really keep up with. It happens, families adopt dogs and then just realize that, you know, it's just not a good fit for their lifestyle and they end up 
trying to rehome them on a Craigslist. And so I've always been kind of keeping my eye on animal shelters and Craigslist for someone who was just trying to rehome their pug. Um, hopefully I was trying to get a pug that was like one to two to three years old um, because a puppy is a lot of work. And uh, I'm trying not to buy from like, you know, a breeder or someone who's like breeding. I'd rather just get a dog that someone is just trying to find a good home for. So now I have two pugs. I am a two pug mama and I also have two um, freshwater aquariums. I have a 40 gallon and a 30 gallon. So I love that. This is like includes fish in the cozy pet critters. And I'm also thinking about eventually getting a bearded dragon and potentially a tarantula. <laughs> I just love having like animals all around me and I'm just a very nurturing person. It comes very naturally to me to like have, you know, a lot of pets. And eventually one day I hope to live on a farm with like chickens and a cow and sheep and I just, I love being surrounded by animals. So getting the both the planners and the classic and the big, the accessory pack, the sticker book, skipping the notebook on this one. Okay, the next collection has four items. This is the Groovin' and Movin' collection. Very cute. It has um, a classic planner, a block notepad, a mini notebook, and a twin loop in a classic size. Tempted by the classic color block planner. I think it looks really really cute. The block notepad also looks cute But I'm gonna have to pass on this one because again, it's just not I'm not completely in love with it And I think I could pick up the planner or the block notepad um, For like 40% off in stores later on when like the hype has died down. So I'm skipping everything there and now we have the 90s collection. This one's super cute. I'm getting the sticker book and the classic vertical layout because I just adore 90s aesthetic. It's, it's what I grew up around. You know, I'm a child of the 90s. I love the whole Y2K fashion and I just, I just think they're super cute. They only have three items in this collection. I'm shocked because I feel like this one's going to be popular. The third item is the mini horizontal planner and I'm skipping that one because the mini size for me just isn't the best. And then we have three items in their bright retro budget collection, a sticker book, a planner, and a budgeting block notepad. I'm going to skip all of these because I have enough budgeting stuff, stickers, planners, and and I actually have an undated budget extension pack that will take me through halfway 2023. And around that time, I'll start looking for a new budget planner. But right now I have um, enough months to last me till June of next year. And hopefully in between and now and then, I'll find a budget planner on like a really steep discount somewhere. And honestly, like the budget planner for me is really, really functional. I don't decorate it too much. I just need it to like write things down and so I I don't have to have like the newest cutest thing for my budget planner I can just you know use blank budgeting undated pages from somewhere so skipping everything there maybe I will get the bright retro budget sticker book again when it's like 40% off and in stores because I do like using um stickers for budgeting and it's always nice to have a budget sticker book so I think I'll Keep an eye out for that one, but again, I'll probably only get it if it's 40 to 50% off. All right, next up is the Butterflies and Blooms collection. We have a classic horizontal planner. We have a classic planner companion, a sticker book, a mini dashboard, and a classic notebook. And I'm skipping all of these. I'm passing on all of them. They're gorgeous, they're beautiful, but again, I'm all floraled out. And I feel like the butterflies is always like tied with florals. Like it's it's never separate. They just go together hand in hand. I like butterflies. I think they're beautiful. I like insects a lot. And I I think it's a gorgeous collection, but it's just not for me. So I'm skipping those. Okay, I know I said I'm all floraled out, but the botanicals, the deep botanicals, um, planner and sticker book are just fantastic. I would definitely get those. 
um, if they're 40% off in stores. Uh, I'm so tempted to get them right now, but I, I'll wait on these two um, and I'll get them in stores with a 40 or 50% off discount. Very different florals from what we've seen from the Happy Planner, so that's why I justify myself eventually getting them. And then we have metal expander discs in this cool two-tone black and gold. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe when they're in stores with a 40% off coupon, but $30, those are expensive. We also came out with a, a Celestial Happy Planner. This is in a classic monthly layout, very cute. I think I'll pass on this one. I'm not completely in love with it. And uh, I just like my planners to be a little bit more colorful. I'd rather have seen this in like a galaxy theme or galaxy color story. The black and white and gold isn't my absolute favorite. So I'll pass on that one. Oh, you also have a twin loop. It's very neutral, um, but I'll pass on that one too. I'm just not huge into neutrals. Okay, and then they came out with their Getaway Vibes collection. They have five items in here. They have filler paper, um, a classic vertical, a mini vertical, and a mini vertical extension pack, and the sticker book. The sticker book is calling my name. I definitely want to get this, but I think I'll wait until it's in stores and 40% off. Okay, and then they came out with a bunch of essential sticker books. So they have essential home, essential boxes and borders, essential trackers and checklists, icons, quotes, um, a bigger sticker book of the quotes, and I'm not getting any of this. I'm a little bit tempted by the icons, but I think I have enough essential stuff to see me through the next few years or so. And none of these are really like are sticking out to me. I think these are great for someone who doesn't have a lot of sticker books and is just like starting out. I think those are great, but I have a lot of sticker books. I don't need any of these. Okay, and then they have some of those interesting folded filler paper. I'm skipping those. I don't need them. I'll just fold regular old filler paper and set it up like that. I don't need to get special folded filler paper. Okay, and then they have the Funky Abstracts collection, and let me tell you a secret. I am not an abstract shapes person. It's honestly not my cup of tea. I'm not even like famous contemporary modern artists. Um, I've never been a huge abstract person, and so I'm skipping every single item in that collection. I'm also skipping everything in the gold and black planner collection because I'm just not huge into neutrals. I like a lot of color. I like rainbows. I like beautiful sparkly unicorns and yeah, this is just not, it's not who I am. Black and gold. Mm -mm. Okay, then we get to the feels like sunshine stress management line and I want, I want everything in this collection. Um, we have two sticker books, um, a big and a classic sized, a twin loop, and also just a regular disc bound um, stress management planner in both the big and the um, regular size. And I think I'm going to get the big planner because I love big planners right now and the sticker book in the classic size. And I think that's it. I think I'm going to get those two items in this collection and that's it. Okay, and then we have the Inky Florals um, collection. They have planners and even discs. The discs are interesting. They're, they look like, really cute. Um, but again, I'm not a huge like abstract shapes person. The Inky Florals is gorgeous, but it's just not me. So I am going to skip on everything in this collection. I'm also skipping on everything in the mod collection. It's pretty, but it's just not my favorite design. So skipping on everything there. I'm also skipping everything in the Grace Place um, collection. Grace Place Art. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Um, the cover of the big dashboard is really pretty. It's probably my favorite one out of their collection, but it's just not my design. It's not my style. So I'm skipping everything in there. They also have a theology think pink um, collection. It has filler paper and it seems like they have planners for lettering. 
I'm, I'm not getting any of that because I don't need a planner to letter. I just letter kind of throughout my planners and um, yeah, I just don't need it. And I don't think the covers are very cute. I don't like having a lot of words on my covers like that. Um, the psychedelic florals is really interesting, but I'm gonna skip on that one because I've never been a huge psychedelic florals um, person. It is cute though, it's cute. If I see it in store for 40% off, maybe I'll think about it. Um, I'll see how it looks in person. Okay, I really want the tie-dye fitness happy planner and the medium plastic discs in tie-dye. I really regret not picking up that tie-dye planner um, that was released like two years ago. I just, I really like the look of like pastel tie-dye. So I'm getting both of these and you know how I feel about fitness planners. So I'm gonna get both of those. Oh, I didn't even realize that they also have a skinny classic tie-dye um, planner. Oh, that's interesting. But this, the, the, the skinny classic just isn't my favorite size. Okay, and then we have Paula and Waffles um, collection. This is another artist collaboration, and I really like the Whimsical Doodles planner. It's so cute. Ugh. Still thinking about whether I should get the um, the classic vertical planner or the big dashboard planner. Um, yeah, these are just so cute. I really wish the discs of the classic vertical and the cover of the classic vertical was on the big because then I would automatically, I would absolutely get the big but I just want that cover and those discs on a big size. Right now I have both of them in my cart, but not sure if I will get both or get just one, I'm not sure. The accessory pack is really cute too. We also have a twin loop, but I'm most tempted by the big dashboard and the classic vertical. So maybe picking up two items there. And then next we have the Creative Ingrid collection. This is kind of like a watercolor floral collection. It's gorgeous, but I'm not getting anything from it because again, florals, watercolors, it's just not my aesthetic. So I'm skipping everything there. And then we have the Cyanotype collection, which is gorgeous. I am kind of tempted by the sticker book and maybe the dashboards, the bookmarks, but I'm gonna hold off on anything in this collection until I can see it in stores and maybe use a 40% off, 50% off coupon. It is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. And if I was gonna get something, I would get the sticker book and the classic three-pack bookmarks potentially the um, the big planner, but again, I'd have to see it in stores. And then we have the Beautiful Balloons collection, which is gorgeous. Another floral collection, which I'm really tempted by because it's very different, I think, from anything that's been released so far. We have a classic dashboard, a planner companion, a sticker book, um, the frosted cover, um, classic vertical, and then a twin loop classic vertical. I wish this was in a big size, but uh, for now I'm gonna have to hold off on everything in this collection. I might get one or two things in stores with, again, a 40 to 50% discount, but I'm gonna have to hold off on those. And then we have the glossy tortoise discs. I'm definitely getting these. These are fantastic. And then we have the Zay Wild collection. She has a sticker book. Oh, the sticker book is gorgeous. Really tempted by that one. She has um, a big vertical layout, but it's a twin loop. I wish that was on a disc bound because then I would probably get it. But I think as how it stands now, it's a twin loop. I'm gonna have to pass. And I don't really like the cover of the classic dashboard. So I'm really tempted by the sticker book. Mm. So I'm gonna put it in my cart for now, but I'm gonna have to think about that before I totally commit to it. Okay, and then we have the modern boho um, stuff and they just have one planner. It's a classic horizontal. I'm passing, it's not my aesthetic. It's pretty, it's neutral, it's kind of abstract. Um, not my aesthetic. 
And then they have a faith in florals. That's beautiful. It's pretty, but I have a faith planner that I adore and I'm not in the market to get another one anytime soon. They also have Rhythms of My Soul Classic Faith Planner. That one looks really interesting. It's pretty. It's very pretty. But again, I like my Faith Planner right now so much that I don't think I'm going to switch it up. Let's see. They also have some classic recovery stuff. I don't know if that's new or if they're just sneaking it, in, sneaking it into here. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I think I've seen that before. And then we have hand lettered basics stickers. Mm, skipping, I just, I'll hand letter myself. And then we have a color story. I'm not super into the color stories, so I'm just gonna pass on those. And then we have more um, product from Work and Life collection. Um, passing on everything in this collection because I, I just, I don't like it very much. It's pretty, it's minimal. Um, it's just not my aesthetic. So passing on that stuff. And then we have the colorful Safari Animal Print Collection. That's beautiful, it is gorgeous. Um, the sticker book, um, kind of interesting, but I'm gonna pass on everything in this collection. I like the Colorful Leopard Collection more and I have a planner from there and um, I have a sticker book from there as well. And I, I think I'm, I'm okay with the colorful Safari stuff. It is gorgeous though. The Twin Loop Planner is really pretty. And then we have Tropical Boho Collection. This kind of reminds me of, um, what is it called? Pastel Tropics Collection and Jungle Vibes. Um, I'm skipping everything in this. It's pretty, but I'm just not a huge like tropical boho person. So skipping everything. And then we have Jewel Tone Jungle. I feel like this is like the 2.0 of Jungle Vibes. It's very pretty, but honestly, I kind of like Jungle Vibes better. I know that's a hot take. I feel like people didn't really like Jungle Vibes, but I'm skipping everything in the Jewel Tone Jungle stuff. <gasps> the Happy and Hungry sticker book. I'm gonna get that. I just love food sticker books. I don't know why, they're just so cute. And then we have Merry Christmas stickers. Um, I feel like I've seen these before as well. Uh, I'm gonna skip those. I don't know if they're new, but I'm gonna skip those. I have a lot of Christmas stickers already. And then we have the Disney Mickey Mouse and Minnie seasonal stuff, amazing, beautiful. I really want the big color block. I think I'm gonna definitely get that as well as both of the sticker books, both the big and the classic size of the seasonal. I also really want um, the, the, the big version of that sticker book. It's just so cute. So out of this collection, I think I'm gonna get, let's see, four things. Oh, it's just amazing. I mean, I feel like seasonal and Mickey Mouse, of course, how can I not? Oh wow, the big sticker book is sold out. That's the first thing that I've seen so far from the release that's sold out. That's so surprising. Oh, that's so cute. They also have the Be Still Faith Classic Notebook and it's um, a dot lined notebook. So this is the matching notebook to that gorgeous um, planner, the Be Still Faith Planner. That's just beautiful with like the mountain, um, the granite face on the cover and the roses amazing. I'm not going to get the the notebook though because I have enough filler paper um, to last me a lifetime. Okay, and that's it. We reached the end of the Happy Planner fall release. That was amazing. I'm definitely going to still have to like go through what I have in my shopping cart and um, curate it and make sure that you know I am willing to spend this much money on this stuff. So we'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. Hopefully I don't spend more than $400. Oof, stickers are expensive. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, thank you so much for spending some time with me here today. Let me know if you picked up anything from this collection, and if so, what it was, I would love to know. And I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, and happy planning. Bye.